it's finally time to wrap up the uh, inner tomb. Now jump on backflip so you grab the uh, edge. So uh, <laughs> just slide down it backwards and grab. So you take a lot less damage. You can see a big shark. There's going to be a bat in here. So just shoot the bat. That lever opened up this trap door. Now there's going to be some spikes. <laughs> My tactic for the spikes is to swim straight through. You will take some damage, but you can get through that without taking damage, but it's just a matter of luck. I can't find a 100% foolproof strategy. Now once you've grabbed the key that was down there, we spawned a lizard. So kill by this uh, horrible lizard. Yeah, go die lizard. There is a uh, keyhole. It's called the sh this is shiny key. Also shiny. And uh, come through here. Now we're going up to the top and pull a lever. That's going to release a boulder. So go back down and try to avoid the boulder as best as you can. So, get out of the shotgun because it's because today we'll, we will be doing a no pistols run. Oh yeah, just try and uh, I'll try and go on to the block, but without the list of passing me. I reckon it on there anyway, I don't realize that. You can see that there is a star of David on the um, pedestal, which you will be grabbing. Pick that up, and now you want to use these monkey bars. to um get to the other side. So this might take a while. So let's go and grab that jump switch back. It's going to open up the doors to that church. And yes, we are good to have to do from uh, shooting. In fact, in this uh, cabinet, there are some Uzi clips, I think. Oh, no, it's shotgun ammo, sorry. My bad. So grab the shotgun ammo, there are Uzi clips in the, uh, in another cabinet. I believe that if you come down here first, you want to open up these double doors so we don't go through them just yet. Let's just turn down the music. Because it was going to 
makes me a bit loud. Oh. There you go, a bit of a lag for a second in the worst position. Grab this torch. No, we need fire. Lava. I don't know why I keep jumping. It's more fun to watch her jump, I guess. This level's not as difficult as the uh, previous one. But it's still a pretty fun level. So I just want to get to the other side of uh, this. And they're here somewhere where we can light the torch. On the area you can see through the uh, window there. We are going to go to go there later. That's what I like about this, these series. They are uh, the rooms are right, are right next to each other. And sometimes you can see a room where you, where you're going to end right at the start. Now don't forget this, there is a cabinet. I think this is the one with the Uzi ammo. Let's pick up torch again. You want to light all of these uh, wall torches that are on the side. We'll just keep on running to the other side and do the same thing. Let's keep jumping. Now I open. I'm going to use my shotgun. No, my actually, oh, that's just the grenade gun on the boxes and on the windows. You can throw a torch into this water if you want, because you don't need it ever again. But since I had to get out my guns to switch it out, I'm not going to pick it up and throw it in. There's no point. So we just uh, swim to the other side and pull this uh, underwater lever. I think I need to start taking a bit slower on these bits. So that I will do. Try to anyway. You can see our door to the right. We will be opening that in a minute. I do say in a minute way too much, but we are going to be finishing this uh, game today, and it's about time to. But actually, I'm going to miss. Um, Temple Archives it is a very awesome Tomb Raider level editor. But it means I can move on to After Sheriff. So I've got to a lot of I'm alternating between uh amongst Knights of Terraphosia from Pascal and this one. But now since now this one is finished I will change it to uh, Aqua Sharif. Pull this lever. And that's going to open up that door, but before we go into that door, let's refill her air bar. 
Now let's go through that door. South. Pull this lever. And go through here. Let's go for air first. Every time you pull a lever here, go back up for um, to fill the air bar. Just leave the air bar, leave the air bar, leave the air bar. That way, you won't drown. You can do this all in one go, all in two breaths, I think. But let's not bother with that, let's try to be safe. That area down there is another area that we will be getting to later. I just knocked into my uh, laptop. So, you can see what we did. We raised this, and this can give us trouble. Like it is today. Wow, well, it just it gives us trouble when we record. I'm save. Lala. Be nice. I don't know why I just didn't load that off. That's better. From here, you just want to run and jump until we grab the um, jump switch. Now that opens up a, another door. That door I pointed out earlier. The one down here. I'll pick up this. I believe this is called the Key of Hugo. There are two keys. There's the Key of Hugo and the Key of Lorenzo. I don't remember which way around they are. So I think this is Hugo's key. And the other one that we will find later on is Lorenzo's key. That's the whole goal of this level to gain two keys. And one of them is called Lorenzo's key and I believe that's a reference to uh, Lorenzo di Mercedes. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. about the shotgun but, but before we do that let's grab a um, secret now this secret is very long it's not it's not long but it's just take a bit of time to get to it <laughs> I was thinking about speeding this part off, but I'm not going to. What you want to do is want to push this block, and you'll notice to the left there is a door. That is the whole goal of this, is to open up that door. And to open that door, we need to get a tile onto that other blue tile. So, the other this block onto the other blue tile. So, pull it once. Then go back around and push it all, push it all the way to the end. I want to keep repeating that process till it's on here. Get 
lag ik hier te zo'n weten. Ik ben geen te vol op het blok. Ik ben niet aan het denken dat ik deze round aan het profiteren. This is a very long process and it can be boring, but you know, it's just for a secret. So if you don't want a secret, you don't have to do it. But I go for all secrets, so I have to do it. It's the law. I haven't missed a secret yet, I'm not going to do it now. No matter how useless the secret is. Grenade guns. The rest of the enemies are immune. Most of the enemies in this level are immune to the grenade gun. But they give you the grenade gun anyway just to confuse you. Because that's what they do. You know. That is what they do. So, when you push the lock onto the tile, you hear a door opening and here it is. This is secret number 8 of 9. And all it is is some revolver bullets and some shotgun bullets. All the bullets you will need to complete this game. Sakba, as we said in a flexi hood. You, you've got to Sakba all the time. Burring is fun. So we've got some uh, knights that want to come and attack us. So that's what knights do, they attack us. Come on, knights. Let's see this guy to attack me. There's not a uh, <coughs> Two knights. Phil and Ben. The flower pot knights. Come down here and there will be another cabinet or another thing that we can have a look in. This one you have to open up from the back. So if there is some oozy ammo inside. Shots. Usually we only take them um, two. Let's get out of the shotgun and break all these boxes open. It doesn't matter too much because this is the last level. So why not waste all the ammo? That's the uh, security logic for you. All girls have that magic. Look up there, you see there's a window. We will be, we will be coming through that towards the end. Remember, we are in a church, so uh, once you show all of these knights. Uh, pray to our Lord for forgiveness, I guess. So... Uh, 
I would only say that this is a uh, player turn. I'm gonna throw it back. Quite the, quite the, the temple. The temple of Christ. I guess by translation. Now, we're gonna go in here, and there will be another lizard in here. Just shoot the um, lizard. And push this lever. And pull up again. So I'm going to find this lock. And it will let us get up here. There will be a bat in here. There is a lot of bats uh, in a few of these already games. We call this lever. <coughs> That is going to raise a cage so we can get over to the other side. Let us say hello from the other side. Let's go out of the grenade gun because it's not totally useless. You can use it on the lizards. But I think it's much better to use the um, shotgun or revolver. But yeah, the grey gun doesn't really come in much hand, I was just trying to waste the um, ammo for it. Because like I keep saying, this is the final level. No levels after this, man. It'd be nice to get a TR really done for one of the... Oh, there's a bat. I thought we uh, killed that bat earlier. I'm looking at one from up there. So I don't know if we killed it now. I think we might have killed it. I didn't see him or I die. But. Open up this door. Now, or else. And uh, all of the boxes and vases are empty. Don't break them unless you really want to. You could be doing a box breakage man. That's fine. But they are all empty so you don't really need to break them open. I'm going to ignore them because I know they're empty. But anyway, we get where I'm going on about the same thing. Just running jump around. You can see that there's a switch. You can grab that gym switch now. Yeah. 
a little bit of a trouble getting them up here, so we'll do it again. But anyways, just go around to the other side where there's a lever that we can pull. I'm not the best at doing the uh, commentary, but I give, I give it a go, mate. I give it a go. Did it save? Because you want to try and do a half power jump to there. And try and veer off to the left. You can do a standing jump, but that's boring to me. I don't like doing standing jumps when half power jumps are more fun and enjoyable. I'm the only one who probably thinks that, but you know, who cares. There's a, behind the pillow there is a lever. This lever is going to do something interesting. It's going to raise that. And that is going to uh, be used to raise another block. And the best way to get out of here without taking damage back through here. You can fall down the uh, other way but this way you can try and find some uh, water to land in. I think that was a bit too uh, shallow. Yeah, let's land in this water and we're taking no damage. If we take no damage we're better off. I don't think there's anything in this water, so just swim through it, and uh, yeah, there's nothing in it, it's just a pool that's there to save your life. And it does do that. Thanks for tuning in to the crazy gamer. And uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please leave me a comment. That would be awesome. I love comments. I don't like it when. Uh, People watch them don't give me comments for some reason, just... I don't mind, but it's just, you know... The comments is really the only feedback I kind of get on these videos, to be honest. It's kind of like the review system on TRLE.net. In a way. But, I hope. but, you know, some of you will know what I mean, some of you won't. and that will uh, release this ball. Come on ball. Oh, I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was going to say. But I bit my tongue there. Now that we're going to go back into here, because this is the room where that big ball went. It's a massive ball. Massive balls, massive balls. I said we call it the dirty game, I said it now.
Anywho. I'm gonna go over to the other side now. Too close to the street, can't be too far away. The best place to be is a hop back. Now, from here, we can get the last secret of the game. It's down there. Now, this secret is hard to get. It will say there are seven. There are seven key secrets. She, and if she doesn't move, she has to turn her around all the way. And then she will move again. And thank God that they've got all the secrets. So anyway, missed again. In fact, the best way to do this jump is to try and curve it. There we go. I'll jump up into here and we'll pull this light lever up here. This lever is a very sexy lever, no, I just went out. Now that made this coffin. I can now go into the underground of the um, church. Let's go into the underground church here of the church. There it is. So we're at the in the church now. And we, there is another church building inside this building. It's another it's just meant to might be a cave or something, I don't know. But we did go through a church to get to this other church. Doesn't make sense to me, man. Doesn't make any sense, but... This is... All this, uh... Lizard with your Uzis. Because you're a boss. And now... Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Please. 
Thank you. Not cut out. There we go. Anyway, finish up this save. There's a bat right there that we just shot. I know you probably didn't get to see it floating, but you probably saw it fall. Grab this set um, out of space. And now it's time. For another boulder trap. This trap is kind of scary. You sprint and then stop sprinting as you sprint through the boulder. Because this, that's what we do, we sprint through boulders. And that is the way you're supposed to do it as well, I think. There's no other way around it. Two knights down there. What I like to do is I like to quickly run into this pool so they don't follow you. They come up, so they do come close to you. Up to shield. These are similar to the guys in uh, the last uh, library, I think. We have to shoot them in the chest. There's one down and dead. The other one will be soon be down and dead too. There we go. And they have plenty of life. Come through the chapel. And come down here to where the um Jesus painting is. So I got the key from the center of Jesus. And no time to nail down to it because there were knights around. So this area is so cool. This is kind of like a boss battle really, because there were three knights. This is the first thing to a boss that I will ever get. And nope, I'm not allowed to use pistols. I'm not allowed. Pistols are banned in this run. They're banned. Okay. So once they're all dead, they won't follow you out anyway. But we might as well kill them. It'd be awesome. I don't think there's anything down here, but given the watch, so there would be no use for it now. Because we, we are going to now end this whole adventure. Well, almost end it anyway. Yes, so close to the end, it's unreal. First of all, we've got to head back to where we to where we came into the church. There was a bridge that we had to go across. Well, so there's a bridge we have to go across now. We didn't go across it before, but we did see it before. Uh, you might have seen it. I didn't point it out. But it's there. But anywho. Hmm. 
wrong again. Have some more climb stone. Rip. Let our save load. Can you imagine if I saved instead of loaded there? That would have been awful. Lava. Be nice to me. I choose not to edit that much. I only edit when it gets out of hand. Yes, lava, because you, you can crawl through banisters. That's what we do. Now, there is a spike shaft down there where that flare is. So jump over it. Just to get the gun out because there's a window here to shoot. And that takes us back to here. Now we're going to go to the bridge of the end. Well, there's still less we need to do, but there's not a lot left. Use the key off you go. Turn around. Go over to here. Use the key of Lorenzo. Use that there. Um, this is the room that we were in earlier, but now we can access the bridge. There's a slope here, so we can't get back up. Unless we saved at the top of the slope. I gotta get the gun out, there's some windows that we can break open. Pick up Excalibur. There you go, we don't gonna use it but once that we do need to pick it up. Come over here. And as soon as you approach that blue beam, the whole level and the game ends. So let's get up the stats to show you that I've not used any meds. Nine secrets. Walla walla.